Hey, hello everyone, thank you all for coming. And uh, today I'll be talking about how to create an image from a container. This is not a usual case, but it's a good way to understand and to discover how to create an image in uh, Docker. So the purpose uh, of this tutorial, uh, we want to begin uh, with Docker image. We discover the command line and uh, we discover the, a specific command line, a Docker commit. This is not a regular command, but it's, uh, it's great uh, to, to know it. So be careful. Uh, this is not a good practice uh, to do it, to use Docker commit or to create, an, generally to create an image uh, from a container this is a bad idea. Uh, but uh, that could uh, help you to, to debug, to troubleshoot uh, your image or your process into your container. This is very, very useful. Or uh, this is uh, very useful to to, to play with a uh, Docker image uh, CLI to understand uh, what is an image. Uh, but the best practice, uh, we'll see it in the next video, uh, with a Docker file, a specific file uh, uh, that describe uh, that describe how to create an image uh, with a, uh, a specific file. So uh, to start, we need to have a container, of course. And in this case, what we do, we just want to create with Docker run uh, a simple container uh, based on uh, uh, Ubuntu image. And uh, we want to have a, a main process uh, with a slip uh, for one hour. So to do it, I go into my terminal. I just want to have a docker run and dash d and uh, I had a dash dash name option and I want to name my container C2C1 and I want to use Ubuntu in latest uh, version, latest tag and I had uh, a slip uh, for main process of our container and I want to sleep during uh, one hour. Okay, our uh, Docker engine uh, download uh, the, you, the Ubuntu image. So if I run Docker PS, I can see we have one container, our C1 container. If I go into uh, my container with docker exec dash ci and uh, into my container C1, I want to run a bash. And now we are into our container. And uh, first of all, I want to run an apt update. And uh, by the way, I want to install uh, Nginx server into our container. By default, if I try to launch uh, Nginx, I don't see uh, an Nginx command because Nginx uh, is not already uh, installed into our container. So uh, after an apt update, I can use apt install dash i and I want to add Nginx. Let's go. Right, I need to add uh, yes and uh, which which city I had Paris, for example. Now we have Nginx, but if I check we have no, no process about uh, our engines, uh, engines uh, binary. So to launch our engines, we can use uh, slash etc init.d and engines, and we can start it. Okay. So if I use uh, curl on our container, check with uh, which IP uh, use our container we can uh, run a docker inspect on C1 and we have here 
the IP address of our container and we can use a curl on 172.17.0.2 right and we have uh, our engines so this is not very important now what we can do we can uh, use uh, the docker uh, the docker commit um, command so to do it we can use it like here uh, to do it we use docker commit and we want to commit the, the c1 container into a new image for example i want uh, to create an image named uh, my image and i want to have a, a v1 version if you want you can add a command with a dash m option some uh, command some command for example so, um, M, yes and uh, some comment right and now if I check with the docker images or docker docker image ls I can find our image my image in uh, version 1 about uh, we have created it uh, about uh, one second uh, sorry 11 seconds so now we can use this uh, this image we can remove of course we can remove uh, our uh, container our c1 container to do it you just use docker rm dash f on c1 great and now we can create a new container for example we can uh, name it uh, c2 with dash d uh, we add a name to c2 and we want to use it with image uh, and our version one and uh, let's go yes let oh sorry um, dash, uh, docker run sorry docker run let's go if I use docker ps we can see we have uh, our container and the container is up okay uh, if I use a curl on uh, maybe docker inspect on uh, our c2 container we can find the IP and if I use a curl on it we can go on it of course because uh, by default uh, docker launch only one process uh, during the run command and uh, the main command of our container this is not the engines uh, process but this is the sleep process if we have uh, if you have uh, seen in the command line we see it sleep okay so we can uh, go into our container with docker exec dash ti on container c2 with a bin bash now we are in our container again and if i check um, we can check if we have uh, engines of course we have an engine okay because this is our new image uh, based on our c1 uh, container and by default we can see we have uh, engines here and if i check again curl on 172.10.2 oh sorry curl we see we have our engines and our engines uh, is running good so uh, I think that's all for today. If you want, you can remove uh, maybe a tricks. Um, you can remove uh, all image. For example, if I list all image, we can use Docker images or Docker image ls. This is uh, the same command line. This is just an alias here. And uh, uh, to remove all uh, Docker images, to do it, we need to uh, run docker rm or docker uh, rmi uh, like here. 
but we need to specify one argument this is the image uh, the name of or uh, the id of our image and we need to pass a list about all image and uh, all images and to do it we can use docker images and images we can add a dash q option and we have now only uh, the id of uh, all images and we can encapsulate it into docker rm i with our docker images dot dash q option and if we run it sorry docker images uh, yes, of course, we have a conflict because we use uh, ima uh, we use an image, uh, my image, in a container, and this container is up. We can uh, stop it or uh, remove it. For example, C2, and we can run again our command Docker run i and Docker images dash q, and with this command we remove all our images. Be careful because we remove all uh, images, but you can do it uh, like uh, to remove all uh, container with uh, uh, the same tricks. Um, we can just run Docker images. Now we have no image. This is cool. Uh, thank you for watching this video. And you can subscribe to, to my channel to not miss the next video. And I say to you goodbye and see you in the next one. Bye.